Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. So did I tell you guys I come from a building family? So my brothers are contractors and uh, they are building this tiny home for a customer. As you can see, this is on a trailer. The owner is gonna be able to move her home wherever she likes. It's pretty cool to see these things being built, to know that this is gonna be someone's home that they are going to be able to just move it to wherever they like. And as you can see, there's a second one lined up here. They already have an order for another one to be built. But uh, they're all on lunch break right now. So I'm able to just kind of peek around and see what's going on in there. But uh, so far it's pretty good. They're doing the electrical today. So this is my big brother over here. Say what? Girl putting me out there. You know people be looking for me. That's right. They're going <laughs> to find you on YouTube. <laughs> Anything else added in? Washer, yeah, this dryer. is the house power box. It's a so washer dryer, everything. refrigerator, all everything. the lights. Yeah, anything electrical? Everything. It's all 110 right now, but we could do a 220 to run. You know, electric dryer, all that stuff. This is a this is a regular electrical box for a house. It's a sub panel, mm -hmm. not the meter box. These don't have meter boxes, do they? Well, yes, technically they do, but this one's a um, solar power only. It's going oh, on a cool. remote location. It'll be off the grid. Cool. The whole thing's going to be off the grid. She has five acres out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Well water, propane for gas. So is there already an existing structure on that property? No, nothing. Okay. Nothing. They're building the solar now, and they're doing the, um, the only thing on the property right now is a well. Oh, cool. So she has well water. She's totally yeah. off-grid then. Off-grid, totally. Uh -huh. The only thing that she's going to get trucked in is the uh, propane for the gas. These places are a lot roomier than you guys would think. So they got one loft over here. How tall are these ceilings? 13 feet. 13 foot ceilings? Yeah. Well, not 13 feet from in here. Actually, it's 13 feet from... From outside? From outside to the top ceiling. So Got another loft up here. Is that a bathroom or a kitchen? This is the bath. This is the kitchen. So I got and kitchen area here. Right here and bring the plumbing up for the sink. That's the kitchen window. And then this is the bathroom area through here. The bathroom. And the washer and dryer and uh, refrigerator will go over here. So this is the drain for your washer and dryer. And the shower goes over there. So the shower goes here. So this is a pretty nice size bathroom though. Yeah, because the we got a the toilet is going to go here. I just marked this off. So I'm going to cut here and put the toilet flange. The toilet will go here. The sink and vanity will go over there. And 
the shower will go over there, so this has to run the drain. So I was standing the in the shower then. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And it's a nice size window. There's lots of so windows that and you're gonna close it? Wow. To get rid of that claustrophobic feeling. She's gonna move. She wants it on this side. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna move it. Yeah. Well, she's gonna have lots of natural light in here. And then, like I said, those ceilings. So this is the back side of that electrical box. That wall is gonna come out a little bit. So, so all the wires will be behind the wall. There'll be another wall that's gonna come here. So all this will be in the wall. Is it drywall? It will be, but we still got to build the frame out and then try it off. So which is going to be the actual bedroom, this one or the loft? The loft is the bedroom, this is the living room. So this is the living room over here? And this is her common area? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I think I need to up my building game. They can do all of this in this small space. I think I can put a greenhouse in our backyard. All right, so to get a better idea of what you're looking at, you'll see that loft here is actually that way. It's at the front of the trailer. That's what you're looking at over there. So this is actually going to be the living room. And then that big opening behind me is gonna have the accordion doors. You have the stairs leading up here to the loft. You have the kitchen beneath. And then the back end back there is going to be the bathroom. So she's gonna be able to get a lot in here. And here's that washer and dryer area. You can see the shower where I was standing back there in the bathroom. So these little places can pack a lot, you guys. All right, you guys wanna know what's under these things? This is what you have here. They go on these massive trailers. size of the house will depend on what size trailer you need but uh, these things are pretty sturdy so the width of your house is the width of the trailer the length of your house is the length of the trailer not only that you got to make sure you have a toy hauler or something strong enough to pull this trailer along with the weight of these houses. All right, so I tried to get one of them to come up here and show you guys the roof. I don't know much about roofing, but uh, you know, big brothers, little brothers, they tell you to get up there and do it yourself. So I had to climb up here, and film the roof on my own no respect for ladies look at this got me up here on a scaffold all right anyway i'm up here on the scaffold and the wind is blowing they're down there unloading a bunch of junk off of a trailer from another job because they kind of put it on top of the stuff they need for this job and uh i'm in the way <laughs> You guys want to get an idea of how long these trailers are? Look at that. So, compared to a truck, things are pretty massive. I have to put a rubber sheet, a piece of rubber in there and squeeze it off the rubber. I like that. This is my little brother. What's up, people? <laughs> you ain't got no little brother. I don't. Everybody's bigger than me. Right in front of us. We're going to have to box it in. Oh, okay. 
information here uh, for this for the shower pipe, the drain. It's just on the other side of this block, but this is where the toilet is going, right there. Oh, it's right there. It is right here. The Y over The Y is, because we use the Y for the squeaks. So, we may actually should sit on there. They should. They will. This one will. Yeah, it's This one will. Okay, how wide is this? This is a 10 foot by 38 foot tiny home. So it's 10 feet wide and 38, 38 feet, feet long, long and 380 these are... square feet of floor space. drain for this kitchen sink. Where does it actually Due to the drain fact that it? it has a metal frame, you have to come over the top of it. And it drains back here to a central location that hooks up to your septic tanks or sewer lines. 